Coca Room is a full service venue located in Riverview, New Brunswick at the Funny Chocolate River Station. We offer all types of events from weddings to corporate events, galas, concerts, and much, much more. With being a full service venue, we offer food and beverage, decor and floral, and planning services. We also have a beautiful patio that we can host events like wedding ceremonies, um, cocktail hours, or outdoor, outdoor parties. Well, it all started with my sister and I. So my sister, Melanie, we have always wanted to go into business together. So we started out very young. I think she was 21 and I was 14 at the time. And we kept trying to think of all these ideas, like how are we going to get into business? And it's funny because we actually drove by the Chocolate River Station at one point and we saw the building and said, you know what, one of these days we're going to have a business in there. We, we pictured a club. or a, that, that was our first thought, but never thinking it would actually come to that day. But uh, fast forward a few years later, we were both working full-time jobs uh, at an engineering company. And again, knowing we were do- we had so much more that we could could do. Uh, we had started out even with a cleaning business, uh, trying to be entrepreneurs on the side. Eventually, uh, weddings fell into our laps. I had gone on a course to do some wedding planning and, and really fell in love with the whole event industry. And Melanie, she's uh, the mastermind. We decided then, you know what, let's try this. And we put together a business plan. Uh, we went to Enterprise Greater Moncton, which is now 3 plus, and tried it you know, brought it in. We actually got rejected three times before they actually said, okay, this is, this, you, you're onto something. And it started out as wedding planning decor and floral. Uh, we didn't really have much experience, so we set up an office at our parents' house in their kitchen, uh, set up a sample table of decor that we did, and we sold ourselves. We put ads on Kijiji, we just started talking to people, and we brought people in, and we sold, started selling weddings. And that summer, we, I think we did about 30 weddings that summer. And that was a big step for us. It was very, very scary at first, but you know, we made the leap, and we started doing it full time. So we did that for about four years before um, we came to the Chocolate River Station, and we had our sights set on uh, the Coca Room. Now, at the time, it was a vacant space. The building didn't have much activity. Um, And again, we were doing decor and floral and coordination for all these other venues. So seeing all these venues, we finally started to realize what we wanted to see in a venue and what we had the potential to do. Uh, So we we pitched it to the town of Riverview, our idea about turning this empty space into the Coca Room. And they, they loved the idea and they accepted it. And now we're... Three years later, that was back in 2013, and we are, the building is full. We have weddings and every weekend and events happening all during the week, and uh, yeah, we couldn't be happier. For Melanie and I, taking that leap into business was absolutely scary. And we did, we made a lot of mistakes our first run, but we learned so much from it. And we had a lot of support, and that's really important that we had support from our parents, from our family, from our friends. Uh, they believed in us and believed in what, in what we did and what we had to say. It took a lot of courage to do it. And it's not for the faint of heart, but you have to have stamina and you have to stick through it. And in the end, it makes it worth it. You have to get past that first five years. <laughs> Some of our biggest struggles that we had um, was actually financially. Uh, it's it was a big endeavor for us to take and again we made a lot of mistakes in the beginning just you know where to spend our money um, cash flow that is something that we learned is super important in managing your business um, you know getting in the clients paying your bills uh, and that was a lesson that we had to learn and thankfully we were able to turn that around uh, once we learned our lesson we learned it and we were able to to bring ourselves back up into being a profitable company with cash flow being so important we actually learned that four months into our business when we almost went bankrupt. We just spent our money in the wrong places. Um, If I would go back in time, I would actually be just more cautious of the advice people gave us around that and really pay attention to cash flow and how important that is. For Melanie and I, defining success is about being able to sleep at night, you know, being able to pay your bills and knowing that you've got a a solid business under you. Um, And it's also about the autonomy to be able to work uh, wherever and whenever. We're um, 
very into digital. We can be out shopping and all of a sudden a client message come in and we can respond to it instant. Um, and with today's clients, that's what they want. They want instant. And it's very easy for us to have a work-life balance and be able to give our clients this amazing experience, but still have a life. That to us is what success is, that we've been able to do that and create our life. We've been able to curate this wonderful life for ourselves to to do what we want, uh, when we want, but still providing a great quality product for all our clients. So tips and advice that I would give uh, someone entering their own business. First off is perseverance. It's not all going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of hardships that do come along with owning a business, uh, the learning curve that comes with that, and you really need that perseverance to know, you know what, today may not have been a good day, but tomorrow will be a better day, and it can only get better. My second tip is pick your clients. Not everybody you're going to gel with, and sometimes you think that you need to take everyone that walks through your door. That's not the case. If you guys don't gel, the reality is you're probably not going to make them happy in the first place, and it's just going to end bad for you. So do your client a favor as well, and if you don't think it's a good fit, you know, be honest with them and just say, maybe I'm not the right one for you. My third bit of advice is to find a mentor. That is something Mel and I didn't necessarily takes too seriously at the beginning and it was to listen to other people take mentorship take guidance um, I think we a little our egos got in the way and we thought we knew everything at the time but in reality we didn't and we wish we would have taken more guidance and we could have saved ourselves a lot of heartache and a lot of money had we just listened to some people in the first place so with that it's to to get a mentor find someone who maybe is in the same industry and can give you that guidance to help you along 